bear. I like to call this one the Tower of Power. The Tower of Power. I do, because let's face it, of all the camper trailers we've looked at during this competition, this would have to be the tallest. It is, it is tall, there's no doubt about that, but I like the Tower of Power because mm. it actually reminds you of the eerie of the Wedgetail Eagle. It and does, of course, doesn't it? That's what this van is named after. And it comes with its own view. It does, <laughs> yes. Even in the flat tundra here, it's got its own view. <laughs> Which is fantastic. But I'll tell you what though, You'd be thankful of it if you're up north with that absolute beautiful blow through and just quietly, it's own mezzanine level. <laughs> it's pretty good going, isn't it? Uh, no doubt. While we're up there, there's a big queen size bed up there as well. And it is an inner sprung, mm -hmm. but you know what? It's just absolute 360 degree vista all the way around you with big windows, with big midgy proof fire screens. Mm. And, and you can sit up there like the king of the whole domain. Absolutely. And, and there is something to be said about that, just getting up above that sort of everybody else. <laughs> it's sort of like, well, it's it, worked for kings and queens over the years. <laughs> keep the plebs down low, <laughs> but we'll keep the ants down low as well. The spiders, the snakes, all the rest of the bits and pieces that come to eat us in our great outdoors. But you know what? It's not hard to get up there. The staircase is there. I love the staircase on this thing. It's just an absolute ripper. It's a ripper, isn't it? I almost want it to have a boxing glove on the end of it. So it's <laughs> yes, a boing. boing. <laughs> like, but it is so sturdy. Yep. There's no ladders, you no. know? It's it's a great thing. And, and it's high. So yeah. when you walk up, you're not ducking your head or bending or twisting or anything like that. And the staircase is really well designed that even for people with bad knees like me, mm. um, it's really easy to climb. I'm up there. And what do you find when you get to the top of that staircase? A happy wife. A happy wife. Well, it is a happy wife because we've got a full on suite. Absolutely. How good's that? A full on suite nowadays is becoming just the bare necessity, especially with caravans yep. now. But now camper trailers are also embracing that. Oh, and a slide on to have an en suite. Oh, it's outrageous, isn't it's it? It's just great. How much water is she carrying anyway? She's carrying 90 litres of water yep. as standard. Yep. Um, we've got two four and a half kilo gas bottles in there. Beautiful. We've got Truma gas hot water. Okay. And we're also running heating. So the beauty oh, of this is for your climate control, we were up in there before and she's pushing 40 degrees out here again. You bet. Um, and had a few of the specific curtains open and by mm. judging where you, which curtains you want open, you get a great flow through ventilation mm. with a tropical roof to keep it nice and cool yep. during the during the heat. Yep. But if you're going to Tassie or back down to where I come from in Victoria, you bet. you've also got gas heating. So Bear, you're cooking down here and then the weather changes and you think, oh my goodness, I just want to grab a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. What do I do? You know what? I don't care about the weather down here. What about when you wake up in the morning and just want that morning cup of coffee? Oh, I love a coffee. Hey, I know you love your oh, coffee man. in the morning. So do I. Mm. You can actually stay in bed and do it because oh, yeah. you've got a two burner stove right next to the bed. Mm. It's well and truly separated, so yes. it's no drama with the inner spring mattress and the, and the blankets and everything. Yeah. But you've also got a really innovative little sink unit in there that, honestly, I've never seen so many tricks in a sink in my life. It's got a, it's a proper stainless steel sink, but it's got drainage, it's got cutting boards, it's got it had to a, happen. another little bucket in there as well, so you can take your food scraps out with mm. it. It's a really good little combination it unit. It had to happen. We are now suddenly being able to prepare meals in bed. Exactly, you got it, <laughs> exactly. And when that really takes on, Master Chef, watch out. So Bear, heaps of storage, front, rear, underneath, everywhere accessible from outside and within the van mm -hmm. once you're snug tucked away you can put your hand down into the drawers that's it very cool it is but you know what it's really snug because it only takes about five minutes to set up so what? you can pull up yeah it's actually really easy fold over yep fold out at the back for the ensuite and you've also got the pulley system so you're not stretching and grinding trying to set it back up again as well just wind the pulley and it all just closes up. Really easy oh, stuff. Man. One person operation? One person operation. Yes, that's what we like to hear. You got it. So I'm kicking back while a wife's setting the trailer up.